Let me tell you a little bit about um, Isaac Newton and the work he did on celestial mechanics and some subsequent developments that there were in it. Well, it was due to Isaac Newton who discovered the universal law of gravitation, which is that every body attracts every other body in a particular way. And he also had his laws of force, laws of motion rather, that told you how bodies would move if they were subjected to force. And from that he was able to explain the motion of many bodies in the solar system, the way that the planets go around the sun and the moon goes around the earth, and etc. like that. And then, along after Newton, um, King Oscar II of Sweden um, posed the question, I think it was 1889, as to whether or not the solar system was stable, whether or not you know planets would just keep going around the sun in an orderly manner, or maybe some one of the planets would fly off or would crash into the sun and that question you know is how do you explain the motion or rather how do you predict the motion how do you predict the motion of the bodies in the solar system when they're moving under mutual gravitational attraction and it turned out to be remarkably difficult it still is remarkably difficult and when the mathematician Poincaré started to look at it he saw that this system of developed by Newton's, which is completely determined, completely deterministic, has got configurations of the bodies within it where the behaviour can be exceptionally erratic. And the word given to that now is they can behave as if they were random, they can behave as if they were chaotic. So what he discovered was that there are certain setups when trying to explain the motion of um, bodies moving under gravitational attraction under which they behave in a, a, a seemingly random and unpredictable chaotic manner even though the underlying laws governing their movement is completely deterministic and completely determined.